It was sad enough that 19-year-old Diane, who had the intellectual capacity of a 14-month-old child, had been raped by somebody, either at the institution where she lived or when she was on one of her many outings. It's even worse that she was given drugs that killed her when they took her in to abort the resulting baby. This is Christina with the Sisyphean Journal. It's October 24th, and we're going to look at what happened to Diane when her mother took her to a National Abortion Federation clinic, Reproductive Health Services. Uh, I don't know if Reproductive Health Services has always been under the auspices of Planned Parenthood or not. It has been since the late 1990s and may have been all along. Now, Diane lived on an all-female ward, but she did go on a lot of community outings, and the staff ratio was a little bit low. Uh, authorities eventually believed that one of the staff members had raped her, but they never did figure out how. And that's similar to a case another quarter century later when an intellectually disabled young woman was brought for an abortion because she'd been raped and she too died and the rapist was never identified. Well, once they had discovered that Diane was pregnant, which of course immediately let them know she was raped because somebody with the mental capacity of a 14-month-old cannot consent to sex under any circumstances, her state guardian and her mother agreed that an abortion would be the best thing to do and they took her to Reproductive Health Services, which was a National Abortion Federation member and therefore, in theory, would have been a safe place for her. So on October 22, 1981, Robert Dale Christ administered abortion medications that interacted with medications that she was taking due to her intellectual shortcomings and some mental health issues that she evidently had. So the drugs that were administered interacted with her medications. Diane's mother said that the clinic also lacked the proper equipment to monitor Diane's heart during the procedure. She was declared brain dead and taken off life support on October 24th. Now, she was not the last woman to die after an abortion performed by Christ. A 17-year-old girl named Latachi bled to death after an abortion that Christ performed on her in Texas in 1991. And a 22-year-old named Nicole died of a clotting disorder after Christ performed an abortion on her in 1997. So, it's just tragic all around. The people around Diane, every step of the way, just let her down.